You like it? Yeah, makes things really easy. Hey guys, this is Lee here, and I got a very special guest for you, the inventor and creator and the business owner of Right On Trailers, Mike Carlson. Mike Carlson has been in business with this trailer for about how many years? Since 2010. And I know all you viewers have always asked, what kind of trailer are you gonna use? Are you going to use some utility trailer that you get at the bargain bin? This man has created something and he came up with one of the best products in small boat history, the Right On Trailer. <laughs> well, thanks Lee. Yeah, this is it, this is it. So how, how did you come about with the concept of this Right On Trailer? Oh, so people were doing it. They were going to regattas with their, with their boat uh, hull down and, and just loading their, their SciTech dolly onto their utility trailer and uh, made that into a product. A, okay. A purpose-built trailer uh, for lasers and sunfish. Mm -hmm. And and then we, we've, over the years, added a rack so we can take a second boat or, or canoes and kayaks on top. And uh, that's the right-on trailer. Oh, oh excellent. Eat. So, hey, if you're liking this content, don't forget to smash that like button. So he has some, some pads down here. To, one of the things that I've learned with these utility trailers, and a lot of people on Facebook, I, I see their input, you know, just get a six by eight utility trailer, but you have it special where you, if you have a dolly here, like the SciTech dolly, you could literally roll this on. So this is a little bit different from just a utility trailer, no? It is, it is. This trailer is one person easy loading. Mm -hmm. So you, you start the trailer on the back and then you go to the transom and bring it on. And it's a rolling and lifting motion where you never have to lift the full weight of the boat yourself. I made a video on a trailer review about a year and a half ago. It was actually here. I'm here at Lake Norman Yacht Club in North Carolina, and I did a review of about 10 or 15 different types of trailers, a lot of homemade trailers. And now we have Mike here who invented the ride on and it's specially made for small sailboats. That's right. And the most important thing that you can get for a single sailor, especially if you sail a laser or an Ilka or a sunfish, is that it's hard to transport and get on top of your car or on the trailer. And this solves the problem, right? It certainly does, yeah. Let, let me ask you some details on this. What is the cost of one of these things? The trailer sold as a trailer kit and it breaks down into four boxes that can be go out UPS. So I can get it anywhere around the continental United States. The trailer w costs $899 plus some shipping to get, get it to you. You, spe right. you spend a weekend bolting it together. It's right. not hard, right. but it is a bit time consuming. And then you have a trailer and then, then you're off you're sailing on a private lake by yourself or you're going to the next regatta. I have a friend of Vito who, when I saw his trailer, he had a utility trailer and you put ramps on it and he's been sailing all the way up until like 80, 82 years old. So this actually extends the life of your sailing career. It is, anything you can do to, to make it easier, it's, it's less of a burden to get on the water, so. so. Absolutely, yeah. and then you save your back. I have one, I don't have a ride on trailer, I have something similar, but it's bolted on. But this concept is a, is a game changer for anyone who wants to sail and who can't get their wife or their spouse to lift their boat onto the trailer or on top of this like van, because yeah. people run away. This, this is a frame. Uh, this is an add-on, obviously, Mike, right? That, that's right, that's right. And, and the idea is to, to carry more. Uh, these are the same diameter as Yakima roof racks. So you could put bikes across the top. You could put a kayak and two bikes um, or, or a rocket box if you want to put some nasty life jackets and things. Oh, so, nice. So it, it adds to what you can carry on the trailer. When you said you're the cost of the trailer, that's, that's less than one of those aluminum Trailex trailers, right? It, it's less than an aluminum Trailex trailer, it is. Yeah. It's a carbon sealed trailer with powder coating on. Okay. It, it's great at freshwater lakes. If you do salt water, you gotta rinse it down, mm -hmm. but right. um, you, you'll get a good life out of it. If you get a scratch or a nick, you just dress it with some spray paint, a little touch up paint. One of the champions around Shelton Island, Chris Williams, he came all the way from Philadelphia and he's been trailing this his sunfish with the ride on trailer for years and he endorses this trailer he's he loves it so much you could really drive on the highways with any problems or anything yeah like that? so this is an interstate speed trailer it's not a 45 mile an hour trailer so we go georgia to florida to here in north carolina at speeds nice. um one interesting thing that the the frame is actually um for over 600 pounds it's a stiff pretty heavy frame mm -hmm. but we put on lighter lighter springs Okay. And, and the reason is that because you're taking, uh, they're like single leaf springs. It doesn't bolt on the highway. Right. If you have double or triple or quadruple and they're made for like 
a jet ski, then you have a 120 pound boat. When you hit a bump, it'll start bouncing and then it'll bounce the stiffness out of your boat. Even if you, you know, trailer it upside down, which is ideal. But now with the side tech, this is a question I've had, and I'm not sure if you can answer this. Sure. When you have the ride on trailer and you put it on your dolly, so it's resting on the strap and on the, on the, bow, on the support. bow support here. Yeah. Does that do anything negatively to the boat? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. But you do have to keep it down on the straps. You can't have it up on the uh, gunnel supports. They're not designed to take that load. Okay. So it's on the straps. Oh, so he means with this, with the um, with the laser here, these are the gunnel supports. Yeah. But with the sunfish, you don't have that. We do pad on the sides for, for long distance, and that just keeps us down on the dolly rash. Nice. So, and we suggest you use a bottom cover as well. Oh, okay. excellent. So, hey, if you're liking this content, don't forget to smash that like button. So he has some, some pads down here to protect the gunnels. He recommends a bottom cover and you can get those bottom covers at many different places. What else do you recommend trailering a boat? What kind of tips and tricks here? Lashing it down is important. It can't be loose. The front is very fixed. It's very tight. How is this fixed? It's fixed on, on this bar. Right. The lasers lash down to the dynamic dolly mm -hmm. and then the dynamic dolly is lashed down to the trailer. Okay, cool. And, and that's the same bow line painter that you use just to type your boat. Okay, so now me personally, I have something similar to this. I actually lash my dolly down to the trailer here because I don't I don't trust my knots here. So yeah, that's could, that's fine. And then he has the 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 tie down here. You always want to have your your loose stuff like the dolly tied down to something solid. And what we're not seeing here is um, cinch straps going around the top mm -hmm. here and here. And then uh, we take the wheels off, put them inside, right. and, and then we lash down the, the dynamic dolly. So it's yeah. it's kind of redundant. The trailer's tied down, and then the dolly's tied down. So is there anything else you want to teach any of my viewers here? It's just a simple, easy approach to getting out on the lake. And, right. and anything to make it easier and quicker is, is, is worthwhile to sailors. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot, Mike, for showing you your product that has changed sailing single-handed sailing not on the water but this is something that you should definitely check out if you don't have a strong partner to help you put it on the roof so thanks a lot i appreciate it thanks if you like that video check out this video right here trailer is one person easy loading mm -hmm. so you, you start the trailer on the back and then you go to the transom and bring it on and it's a rolling and lifting motion where you never have to lift the full weight of the boat yourself